All right. Brody, uh, what are we doing here? Well, we got a call from the Samuel family. They wanted us to come out here and uh, renovate their old farm here. Um, I didn't realize how bad it looked until I just got here, but uh, it's got a lot of work to do. So. Uh, looks like we got the right equipment. Let's let's take a look at this place. Do we know what they what they want? Did you meet with them or? Yeah, so I talked to them on the phone. I haven't met face to face yet, but they said they wanted a uh, a nice horse ranch kind of farm here. Um, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Yeah, I guess the first thing we do is clean up. Okay, guys, we're just gonna move some of this uh, rock here. Just, just pushing it along here. Uh, we're just gonna make a pile and get the excavator in here to load it into the dump truck to take off somewhere else. It should work pretty good. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of what I am thinking here. We're gonna move the entrance down the road just a little bit here, probably to the middle in between these two power lines. So we're thinking entrance right here. All right, we walk through here, go through the ditch here. And off to your right, there's gonna be a massive pond just for like uh, recreational purposes, maybe some fishing, boating. N nothing too big though, just a nice smaller pond, I guess. And then over here, there's gonna be a house right behind the pond. And then over to my left, to the left of the house, you're gonna have your first little horse pasture with a smaller barn. And then, and then in front of that shed, there's gonna be a corral to train the horses. And then we're going to have this big horse barn with tons of stalls and, and stuff in it for all the horses. And then coming back to the back here is where we're going to have this nice arena. We're going to have our own horse track with some bleachers, a nice building for like our uh, parties and uh, for parties and uh, serving lunch and stuff. Just a big open building there. And over to the left of it, it's going to be the uh, the jumps and stuff like that. And of course, in the back, you're going to have three big open pastures for even more horses. That's the plan. Let's go ahead and jump up in the sky and get this built. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired. Yeah, we've done a lot of work here. It's, it's looking good so far, yeah. though. Yeah, so walk me through here. What do we got so far? All right, so we obviously changed the entrance. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but it was over there. We moved it over here, moved the culvert. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, okay. We dug out this pond and we connected it to the culvert to get some water in here. It's filled up already. We got the dock in. Uh, we got this driveway coming through here. And. Of course, we've got this beautiful house with the uh, two-car garage next to it. That's pretty much all oh, I've gotten wow. done so far, but uh, it's looking good. Oh, yeah. So it looks uh, looks amazing. This house is awesome. Yeah. Obviously, we still need to add the grass and do some detail work here and there, but uh, it's coming along. Yeah, some landscape work out here. Yeah, yeah. definitely. This is going to be the maintenance hub of the farmyard over here, and... It's got an upstairs too for a little office or just storage. Pretty sweet. Yep. And then over here we'll have some equipment stored over here. You know, a couple like three garages, kind of nice. So if you're working on this field out here, you'll be able to just come back in this way. Yeah, yeah. And then the the Samuel family was telling me they're starting with you know the horses and we're gonna do the oat field and the grass field, but they might get into other crops. So they wanted. Got to be honest with you. I think they like the big stuff for showing it off. Yeah, probably. They, they, want, um, they wanted this huge silo setup. That is massive. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure they grow enough crops to even fill one of these bins, but... Oh, absolutely not. But, you know, they have money for a reason, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're also going to try to corner the co-op market around here. Probably, yeah. 
But you know, anyways, they're great customers. Yeah, for sure. Love working for them. And then they got this site over here where I think we're going to dedicate for some of the grass work and the tools for for the hay, oh, the hay okay. operation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so we'll get the equipment in here. It'll look a lot better, but I again, I don't like this gravel. We're going to we're going to get this looking pretty nice over here and 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 um cozy is the word I'm looking for. Oh yeah. And then one more building so far, just another shop, you know. You can have the maintenance over here for the tractors and the the mower and the ah. rake and all of that. Okay, even more maintenance. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, we just got the update from Chris. We're going to head back over to the house, and we're going to start building out some of the horse pastures. We'll probably start up front and work our way to the back. It's probably the uh, best bet for us here. Let's jump right into it. Oh man, I think it's check-in time. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I see you got a uh, nice big red tractor there. Oh yeah, this uh, family, it's a nice little hill there. This family, uh, they're a big, they're a big red tractor fan. So you're, you're gonna, you're gonna love the rest of the equipment oh, over there. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, so what do you, what do you got here? All right, if you follow me, I started working on the first horse pasture here. I got all the fence in, that took quite a while. We've got this all fenced in. We got the uh, feed trough and the water trough out there. We've got this little barn here for them to rest in during the day if they don't want to go all the way back to their stalls. Nice. Coming through here, we have their corral. That way we can train them and stuff in there. Ooh. And coming through here, we got the big horse stable here. Awesome. Looking good. This is getting close to them being able to bring some horses here. Oh yeah, maybe uh, the next time we check in, there could be horses here, potentially. That so. would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna take the case back over there. If you wanna maybe follow me in my truck. Yeah, I can go do that. see what's going on. All right, we made yeah. it over here. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Look at the equipment. Yeah, look at all this stuff. We got some prop crop protection out there. Uh, look at this bad boy. Though. Oh wow, the 9250. I love it. Yeah. That one's new. That's something that we bought. We got the header here. Okay, okay, there you go. Yep, and then some of this equipment here came from their other farm. They got their plow, a cultivator. All right. Nice quad, quad track here, 470. There you go. Yeah, and then uh, if we head back out this way, we had one of our uh, one of our other employees just finishing planting the grass over there. I don't know why he just left the tractor there when he got done. Oh. Where do we that's, get these guys? I don't know. That's unfortunate. So they're telling me they bought this tractor and its only job is to move grain around. Okay. 
so they run it on this grain cart in the field then? Yeah, apparently. So that's some stuff that we're going to be working with them uh, on. And I thought it was interesting that the only green piece of yeah. equipment they had. Yeah. I'm surprised Anyways. that they can get it to pull that, to be honest. That's a 2200 bushel grain cart on a 6R. Yeah, maybe I might have been misunderstanding them, but I, I don't know. That's the way uh, it, it pulled it here. It struggled. I only could get it up to about 10 miles an hour, so I, I don't even want to know it when yeah. it has weight in it. Right. Oh, and then their semi arrived with okay, the look at that. trailer. All right. Yeah, so that's there. And then they got a little bit more. We Oh, yeah, we had to had to do a little bit. I didn't realize how much equipment they had once I got the list from them and everything that was coming here. You had to get another shed as well. All right, all right. So we got plenty of storage around here, and some of the hay equipment is arriving. The tedders here, the wind rowers should be here soon, and their balers. A little lonely baler over there. Well, that's hmm. about it. We know we got the rest of the equipment coming. I got to get the oats going in the field towards the road, and then uh, I'm going to make this yard look a little bit better for them. It'll be pretty in a few. All right, I can't wait to see your next update here. Yeah, same. I'm excited to see some horses move in and some of the other things that I know you got planned on this next uh, phase here. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. All righty. All right, guys. Looks like the Samuels just got here with their uh, nice Silverado and trailer, and they unloaded their first batch of horses in here. Wow, look at them. Looks like they're enjoying their new home. We should probably get them to get their trailer out of here so they don't escape. That guy's trying to escape. We're just going to jump on top of the trailer. Uh, but yeah, we'll get them out of here and then we got to work on the horse racing track as well as the uh, medical area So let's get right to that
are, what's happening? What what have you done since last time we talked? I don't, I see a lot of horses. Oh yeah, it's been a while since we last talked here. Uh, well, we got everything done. Um, so if you want to take a quick tour, I can show you here. Of course, we've got yeah. the house here first. Just a nice log cabin type house. I've shown you that already. Place we got the training ring here. You train your horses. Um, of course, you got your horse barn back there. The stables. Coming through here, we got our event shed. You can put nice parties in there, and when you have like the uh, racing and stuff going on, you can have nice tables in there set up with a bunch of food and other stuff. Coming through here, we've right. got the massive racetrack. Got the equestrian area here, more training and some uh, obstacles and stuff for uh, competing and stuff. Oh, so they'd have like a race going on on the other side, and then this side they have like the the talent jumping yeah. competition. I don't. Yeah, I'm not a big horse person, so I don't know the actual te yeah. technical terms. Yeah, me neither. Um, and then back here, we got our parking lot area. You park your trailer in here for competitions and stuff, and uh, just an open area for that. Of course, we got this main Very building cool. up here. This is your like your vet veterinary building, I guess, if you want to call it that. We got the vet in there to uh, make sure all the horses are good and healthy. Make sure that they don't have any broken bones or anything before competing. Very nice. And that's pretty much it. We just got a bunch of pastures back here full of horses. Uh, and then an area with uh, for some hay bales and stuff back there in the corner. So everything's looking pretty good. This. Yeah, I love the size of these pastures, too. So the horses don't feel like they're really stuck. They got a lot of room to right. roam. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Awesome. Beautiful. Well, I love how our plan worked out. We just head down this way. Oh yeah, look at the that. farmyard. Nice connection right here. And I, you see, I had a lot of, we spent a lot of money on landscaping on this side. Oh yeah. A lot okay. of trees brought in and bushes and all their equipment got delivered. Pretty much just a little bit of detailing of the landscaping since last time you were over here. Okay. And we have grass planted on this side. Look at that. And on the other side, they have oats. So they're going to have their, you know, hay on this side and oats for the horses on that side and just built a nice plan for them on how to take care of those crops over the years and make sure they have enough coming in. And they're telling me, you know, we talked about the silos. They're a little excessive. Yeah. But they, they do have plans on expanding. And this field behind the shed this direction is the one that they're eyeing next. So I, I think they're working through the purchase price with that family gotcha. they're buying it from right now. So there's room for expansion and they're gonna make it a home here very nice looking good yeah this place looks amazing all right so here is how much we spent on this whole compound or complex here whatever you want to call it so in equipment alone apparently you spent four and a half million dollars on equipment which is uh surprising but you got a lot of equipment over here and on yep. the buildings and racetrack and all that kind of stuff, we spent three and a half million dollars on. So that the total is about eight million dollars spent on building this whole complex here. Yeah, and what, from what I understand, talking to the family, that didn't really that didn't, didn't really put a dent. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pocket change. So they got beautiful. They got a beautiful place here. There's going to be amazing events here. I think we did well. Yeah, on to the next project. On to the next project.
Inside of me, I need to breathe.